Hey everyone, welcome to Positron Plays Record of Lotus War, Deedlet in Wonder Labyrinth, which uh, is certainly up there for the longest titles of a video game that I've ever seen. Uh, this is a 2D Metroidvania from Team Ladybug, uh, based on the Record of Lotus War franchise. Uh, if you have not familiar, it was a novel and then anime series and manga and all, all sorts of stuff. I, I remember watching some of it ages ago. Um, but I'm trying to think. The show came out like 80s or 90s. So it was when I was a kid. But uh, yeah, this just came out Early Access recently. And it looks pretty neat. It looks very uh, Symphony of the Night inspired. So we're going to check it out. I think I've got all my stuff set up here. And let's begin. So if you're not familiar, we'll get a little bit of backstory. For once six brave souls who gathered on the great island of Lodos, they fought against evil and brought peace back to Lodos. The only woman among them fell in love with one of the brave souls and swore her love eternal. Their love continued to grow as the years passed. Cold wind blows on. A single bird flies against the wind. Wind rattles the branches of the trees. Her name is Deedlet. She wakens. Deedlet is a high elf, from my recollection. Must have fallen asleep. Where am I? Feels familiar, but... Don't know this place. Gonna have to look around. Alright. So we can swing our sword. Uh, we can also swing it in multiple directions. Uh, which includes up, which is interesting. We've got our standard jump, we've got a back dash. Yep, there's our status menu and things like that. Change controls. So this one, this is gonna be a little weird. Uh, enemy status screen shows their attributes such as strengths and weaknesses. There are seven attributes. Water, fire, wind, earth, wood, light, and dark. The one to three signifies weakness and four to six signifying strength. I feel like that's going to get really confusing to start, but... Um, maybe not. Maybe you're going to see it as a sliding scale. Also, if you're thinking, boy, these animations really remind me of Alucard, uh, you would be correct. <laughs> They are very Alucard inspired. Even so much with the little after image there. But yeah, so we can actually attack up and at an angle. We can't attack. Oh yeah, we can attack straight down. Actually, we get a little bit of a little bit of boost on like a float when we do that. That's really interesting. Got our basic imp enemy first. We immediately get an imp spear. How strange. Don't normally use this, yet it feels so light. A little slower, but probably significantly more powerful. Yeah. Now I have played about two minutes of this. This barrier here, uh, if we touch it, we take a lot of damage. So I'm actually not going to do that right now. Uh, do we have uh, a map? I don't think we do. That's going to be interesting. It's a locked door. We must. We must have some sort of map. Uh, one thing I will note right off the bat um, is that the, the art in this is fantastic. Oh yeah, we do have the, the mini-map in the lower left, but do we have a full-size map? I actually didn't even realize the mini-map was down there. It's really in a kind of a nice out-of-the-way place. Uh, can I hop my way up there? Huh. Well, maybe I can stand on this. No? Yeah, how do I get up there? Oh, dude, it's not making me bounce off an enemy right off the bat, is it? Oh, you know what? We can go to the left, too. I bet I could get up there by, uh, by, like, downstabbing an enemy. In fact, let's try that. Does that give me any more height? 
a little tough to hit. We gotta level up. Seems like it did bounce me a little bit, so maybe. Now, do we get a... Hmm. I don't see any sort of, like, bestiary. Uh, as always with the new series and such, let me know if, uh... You know, audio levels and stuff are good. Alright, I have to remember... We got a goblin club. It's got less attack and less speed. It does have a different swing though. That's actually really interesting. It's got almost like a two-hit combo. Kinda like that. Immediately get an item here. Self Spirit of the Wind. At my command. Plus, and hold A while controlling yourself to hover. Use the directional button to ascend to some extent as well. You can't hover above areas where there is no ground below. Well, that's interesting. You can use the directional button to move to some extent, but you will freeze in place while pressing LB. You can be used to attack in a specific direction without moving. Myself in a place like this. Help me, old friend. So we immediately get this, like, flight ability. That's very interesting. Does it cost anything? Seems to not. All right. I mean, I'll take it. And save and recover at the Statue of Marfa. We are very slow when uh, we're floating. Whoops. I'm tempted to go back and just take the the rest, but so we, they actually take more damage from the club, probably because it's uh, like a blunt attack. Parn. Hey there. No, come back. Oh, oh my. Lelia. You're Carla. Lost, are you, High Elf? You know what you desire. You wish to follow after that night, yes? You wish to be together with your knight? Then swear your loyalty to me. Swear your loyalty to me. Swear it on your very soul. Then your wish shall be granted. Loyalty to you? No way. Out of my way. You fool. Had you sworn loyalty to me, you would have avoided further trials. All right then, soon one more lost soul shall arrive. Let's see which of you has their wish granted first. Ooh, pitting us against each other. Trials, indeed. All right, so this is still locked, I assume, yeah. Wasn't sure if maybe uh, self unlocked it, but this, uh, whoops. We can very clearly get uh, up here now. Oh geez, All right. we should be a little more careful here. What is this? Ah, you must know the exit to leave the spirit world. Okay, so this is uh, a teleport spot. Uh, mildly afraid for my life here. Since you can't breathe underwater, you'll drown if submerged for too long. Good to know. Uh, I would like to find a save point, though. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I, we haven't seen any health pickups, so we have to be cautious about that.
Now, I don't think I can... No, I can't attack down from the ground. I can't angle down off a ledge or anything. Now, that didn't hit him for 20. I wonder why that is. Maybe there's some variance in this weapon? Certainly will be some things to learn as we go here. Huh. Interesting. That barrel... I don't know, I must need to light it on fire somehow. I think uh, our experience bar is just the uh, the number. It looks like that number is filling up. Oh. Salamander, Spirit of Flame. At our command. Oh, we can switch between them with RB, okay. Attacks with the same attributes of the spirit you're controlling will be absorbed. Absorbing an attack will restore your MP. You increase your spirit level up to three times using the cubes obtained when defeating and attacking enemies. Getting hit will cause your spirit level to decrease. When controlling Sylph's fire cubes will appear. When controlling Salamander, wind cubes will appear. The higher level spirit you control, the more powerful your attacks become. Controlling a level three spirit, you'll gradually regain health. Oh, okay. I think I understand. Salamander, will you help me? How strange, this flame doesn't burn in the forest. Uh, control it, destroy. Oh, okay. And just we just automatically get. Uh... Oh, it changes our cloak and everything too. See, the knife is super fast. Actually, really powerful too. And we leveled up. Very nice. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's why I was doing enough damage, or I was doing more damage earlier. Did I have? Did I had I gotten myself up to level three before I I got hit? Also means we can go through those barriers now. There we go. And these don't hurt us. That's that's really good to know. Wolves seem to be pretty weak to dagger. Exceptionally weak, in fact. We can just switch on the fly as well. Ooh, I don't think I can actually get up there. No, it's too high. Ah, we can't get through that gate either. Go another level up. Oh, we do have we do have the overall map. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Cubes appearing when attacking and defeating enemies will increase your spirit level. Yes. We just got this big old chunk of meat here. I guess this is just a just a goal spirit leveling. HP will automatically regenerate. Oh, that's okay. So that's how we we gain health back. We get a bow here. MP is required to shoot arrows. We can move while aiming as well. Let's switch directions. Arrows will ricochet off metal walls. Oh, that's cool. Can we float? Yeah, look at that. It's a, it's a little awkward to hold, but... And the arrows do carry elements as well. Very neat. Oh, but they don't hit... They don't hit those.
Do we regenerate MP in both forms, or is it just... Yeah, we do, okay. It's gonna... Ooh. It's gonna take some getting used to, uh... Getting used to firing this bow. It seems like it, it won't be super duper useful in combat. Can we bust those locks open with it? No. They do bounce off though. Nice, so we can warp around. That's cool. That'll be very useful. But yeah, we've got these, uh... Yeah, we can just bypass these barriers. Are there any barriers down here? No. It's gonna be tricky keeping that, uh... That level 3 going all the time. I'm not sure there's anything we have to do over here. Kind of just exploring, honestly. Yeah, we can't... We can fire pretty quickly. Can we fire arrows through... This? We can, okay. That's such like an arcadey like power up sound. Kinda love it. Can we hit these fish? We cannot. Uh yeah, I'll hit the save here. I mean it's one of those things where, you know. Any, any extra enemies we kill is just more XP, right? Even if it's not a lot. Right, so we have to switch for that. And we are level 3 now, so... Damn, that's... The fact that it's a single hit that does it. It is crazy though that like you can get the, the regen as long as one of them is level three, right? So it seems like a very powerful it's gonna be tough to keep track of during like boss battles though. We for sure still can't go up there, and this was a locked door, yeah. Another save point. We'll take it. Probably want to cut this rope. Yeah. Oh, we don't want to get hit by that, though. Aaron's a ricochet off metal objects. Easy enough. That's going to be tough to do... Uh... Oh, do we have to do, like, one of these? No. Yeah, I don't think I can aim straight up. Oh, I must have to just, uh... There we go. Trying to parse what's what's floor and what's not. That's a beefy imp. Whoa! Okay, we can do this, right? Uh, we're gonna get a, a more shallow angle here.
There we go. Oh, it's a weapon. Double bladed spear? Huh, why would I use this over the dagger? I guess just different element, essentially. Arrows are not very powerful. Oh, that's right, yeah, we can drain that. Right. So that does count as a fire attack. We can't slide yet. Ah, locked door. Which are being marked on the map, thankfully. Alright. Can't be damaged by tanks using attributes of the spirit they possess. Step on a switch to unlock the door. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Will of the Wisp. Spirit magic. Release Spirit of Light. MP15. Uh. Yep. Cast magic. Whoa. Does it change depending on? No. Oh, that's right, we can get MP back that way. Oh my. Hey there. Slain, so this is where you were. You seem troubled. Just where am I? It feels familiar, but I don't know where it is. Do you really want to know the answer? Take one step back and look closely, it'll make itself apparent. Turn to where you belong. Yikes. Where I belong? You of all people should know this? Now I shall take my leave. So what are you trying to say? Hmm. Oh, it is a homing attack. I was wondering about that. That's, that's pretty nice. So we usually get a, uh... Oh, we came back. So when the cast happens, it does freeze briefly. Oh, oh boy. I think I'm gonna head to a save point for now. Although, wait a minute, that's the area we've already been through. Why is there, uh... Why is it Skeleton Town? Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right, that's the uh, place we couldn't get to. It's pretty nice as an easy refill. I don't think these guys give experience. Which would make sense if they're just infinitely respawning. You better believe I'm taking advantage of this homing attack. All right, I think we'll pause there for now. We'll continue next time. This is really awesome so far. Really enjoying this. I hope you are too. If you like the video, click like. Helps a bunch. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon.